Hello, my name is Carl Forehand. I want to talk to you about my new book that's coming out May 11th called Being a Journey Toward Presence and Authenticity. The simplest definition of the book is that it's about being where you are and being who you are. And it, it is a journey. It was a journey uh, to get that to that place. It started in a place that I could just call the tea shop. I think in Taiwan, they actually call them tea houses. But for some reason, I got started calling it a tea shop. And that ended up being the title of the book. The tea shop was a place that we went to because our adventure uh, kind of fell apart. The plans that I had in Taiwan while visiting my son fell apart. And that led us to the tea shop, which was uh, a mystical experience. Uh, mystical meaning real, meaning deep. And uh, that experience taught me about authenticity and presence. And it sent me, it started me on a journey to discover that. However, about six months later, I experienced what some people would call a dark night of the soul, that I felt like my world was falling apart. Here I was coming off a transformational thing earlier in the year where I'd gotten deeper and had some healing. And then I'd found this presence and authenticity that I was discovering. But all of a sudden, there were shadow issues in my life that had to be deal, dealt with. There was work that had to be done. And I ended up, uh, not to ruin the story because it's part of the book, but I ended up um, in a hermitage, doing some deep work, some deep shadow work uh, that eventually led to more healing. I began to avoid what I've been taught to do all my life, and that is to spiritually bypass things instead of dealing with this. So that eventually led to learning how to be. Um, this journey of being that I'm talking about in the being um, book and also the being journey that goes along with it. So that, um, I started to learn how to be, but the book's really written backwards because um, the third part is the first part I wrote. And that was when I was learning to be, I started writing about that, learning to be with community, learning to be uh, with my dog, learning to be in nature and, and those type of things. And just learning, learning that value of presence and authenticity instead of the trap of doing like I had been taught all my life. And I was enjoying that. So I started writing it down and experiencing it. But then I was challenged to write down the part of my story that was in the middle, that was back there, that came before um, this glorious thing that was beginning to happen to me. So it was the hard work. It was the things I needed to do. And I, I wanted to write it down. So as I wrote it down, that became part one of the book, which was written second. Uh, but then the second part of the book was my friend Mark Karras invited me to go deeper. And so you have the first part of the book called Don't Waste a Good Crisis. It's a quote by my friend, Dr. Paul Fitzgerald. And then the second part is going deeper. And then the last part um, is learning to be. Uh, and I think you're going to enjoy this book. I think it's going to be transformational for you. Shia Sophia House has picked up the book, and they are an imprint of choir, which I've used before to publish my books. And they, um, the Alexander Shia is, I would consider a mystic, uh, and he understands that journey. And Nora works with transformational um, experiences with people. So uh, they're good to have along on this journey with me. And they encouraged me to also to create a companion guide. And the companion guide has about 80 pages and it covers 30 days. It is a transformational journey to go on with the book. So I'd, I'd encourage you to check it out. I, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I, I would love to help you. A lot of the healing is based on a process called focusing. And focusing is that just very simple process of getting in touch with what our bodies are trying to tell us. When we do that, 
when we feel those things, um, that part of us that's wounded has a chance to heal. When we don't address it, it becomes shadow and comes out in weird ways. So I'd encourage you to check out the book, find it on Amazon or Barnes and Noble, and I'm sure it's starting to populate in other places. It will be available May 11th, uh, but also uh, feel free to check it out uh, now, maybe pre-order. And best wishes to you. Be where you are. Be who you are. Be at peace. <laughs>